doo 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 doo. I'm just minding my own business. <laughs> you pathetic Monty, you. I must kill you for no other apparent reason other than the fact that we come from different families. I don't like fighting, but I will go on Matrix on you if you don't get away from me, you foolish capulet. <laughs> I see it too. It's the prince. Let's run. No! Nah, this isn't over yet, Montague. I Why are you so crazy? Sergio, my good friend. I'm so sorry. Why did you have to die? I promised on your grave that I'll slay Tybalt with this sword. Which way did he go? I think I saw him over there. There you are, you crazy Capulet. What's wrong, Montague? Come back for some more of this. You can't handle these ninja skills. Oh, shut up, you can't touch me, I'm invincible. Plus, I've been sipping on Red Bull all day, so my moves are lightning fast. Plus, you couldn't even hit a tree with a bulldozer. Oh, now it's on! It's on like Donkey Kong. I may be a lover, but I'm a fighter when I provoke like a spy scum like you. I care. I already got my revenge. What do you mean? Well, I was so angry with you Montagues, especially that Benvolio, that when you showed up at my party, I felt like it was my duty to kill you and everything you love. Mwahahaha! <laughs> You're insane. Yeah, I'm insane. Now kill me if you must, Montague. My pleasure. <laughs> what have I done? Now he's dead. Why am I so dumb sometimes? I better hide quick before they find me. You've got to be kidding me. More and more teenagers are fighting every day. I blame it on violent TV. Tybalt's dead. What? Tybalt's dead? Who killed him? It was Romeo. Romeo killed him. He should be executed. Peace! Instead of executing Romeo, he shall be banished forever. What am I going to do now? Juliet is so going to freak. Friar, there you are. I am in some deep trouble. Well, what happened? Well, I was sort of mad at this one kid, and I might have sort of killed him, and I might have been banished. Why are kids so violent nowadays? Now, I can't be with Juliet. I know what to do. I'll just kill myself and solve all my problems. Ugh! Again with the violence! Don't kill yourself, you idiot! Well, what should I do? Well, you could just wait a while until things cool off back at home, and then I can send word for you, and then you can be with Juliet, okay? But I'm too whiny and impulsive to wait that long. I want to see her now! Then just... Go away for now, and I'll think of something else. Before I kill you myself, just leave. So, the friar thought of an ingenious plan for the two lovers to be together, and they should have lived happily ever after. But, thanks to the modern long-distance communication systems and emotional impulses of teenagers, they both killed themselves without even thinking about the consequences. And the only good thing that came out of the story was the fact that the two families Stop fighting for no apparent reason. For none was a story of more woe than that of Juliet and her Romeo. The there you are, you crazy Capulet. What's wrong, Montague? Come back for some more of this. Oh, shut up. I'm in this. Dang it. I'm just minding my own business. Oh, you pathetic Montague, I must kill you for no other reason than the fact that we come from different families. I don't like fighting, but I will go on Matrix on you if you don't get away from me, you foolish Capulet. Oh. <laughs> Not yet! <laughs> 